Hi, welcome back to the Cocktail Vlog. I'm Steve the Bartender and happy Negroni week. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make three variations on the classic Negroni, all quite different to one another. Um, and first of all, I'm gonna get started with a chocolate Negroni. So if you missed my video before, I showed you how to make a, a brown creme de coe, which I'll link to up here. The original recipe for this particular cocktail does call for a white creme de coe, which is probably gonna make it, um, it's gonna give a nicer nicer look to the drink, whether this may, may be one of those drinks that's gonna little, look a little bit murky, but nonetheless, it's gonna be a tasty drink. So to start off with our chocolate Negroni, I'm gonna start off with the gin. Today I'm using ounce gin across all three Negronis. I'm gonna measure out 30 ml or one ounce. Of course, try not to spill it. And if you prefer, you can use a mixing glass. I'm gonna build these straight into the glass. Point to mess. So 22.5 mil, three quarter ounce. So it's different to your standard uh, sweet vermouth. It's, it's more bitter. Um, so this is, you know, it's got cacao, it's got chocolate bitters, it's got punta mess. It's gonna be quite dry and quite bitter this drink. 22.5 mil or three quarter ounce of your Campari. Followed by your creme de coe that we made yesterday. So seven and a half mil, quarter ounce. And I can see already it's, because it's a freshly made creme de coe, it's adding a little bit of murkiness to the drink, but I'm really excited about this drink. It's gonna taste delicious. And the original recipe does call for a chocolate bitters. I've only got chocolate, which is cacao and other spices. So it's probably the closest substitute that I have. If you do have a chocolate bitters, then feel free to use that. So two to three dashes. Again, avoid making a mess. And then food glass with ice and stir it for about 20 seconds. So it's got a little, little bit of a murkiness to it as, as opposed to a traditional Negroni that has that bright uh, luminescent red color. So for the sake of the video, I haven't stirred as long as uh, what you probably should, but I'm gonna make a couple of others and it's gonna be sitting there, it's gonna be resting, and it's gonna chill the drink further and add a little bit of extra dilution, so that's okay. And then garnish with a wedge of orange. So there's your first Negroni, the chocolate Negroni. So next up we have the Count Master Negroni. This one is using Jägermeister in place of the Campari. So it's gonna be a little bit sweeter, um, less bitter, and it's gonna add some herbaceous notes and probably a little bit of licorice on the nose. So we're gonna start off with your gin and measure out 30 mil, one ounce. So we're reverting back to the classic Negroni measurements of just equal parts. So nice and easy one to remember. So 30 mil, one ounce of Jägermeister. And then your preferred sweet vermouth. So I'm using Antica formula. So it's gonna add vanilla notes and I think it should complement the Jägermeister quite well. And then food glass with ice, stir it for 20 seconds and garnish with a lemon twist. There you have the Count Master Negroni. Next up, you've got the Unusual Negroni. So this one was created by Charlotte Voicy and is featured in the Negroni book by Gary Regan. If you're a Negroni van, uh, Negroni van, if you're a Negroni fan, it's a must read and I'll link to that in the description below. Uh, but this one is a, a more approachable, softer version in comparison because we've swapped out the Campari for Aperol. So because the Aperol is lower in alcohol content, we're gonna bump up the, uh, the amount of gin so we're gonna do 37.5 mil or one and a quarter ounce. Add that straight into your double old fashioned glass and 30 mil of Aperol. 
One ounce. So that'll add a bit of orange and grapefruit notes to the drink. Then follow that with Lille Blanc. 30 ml, one ounce. Now this will add honeyed citrus notes to you, to Negroni. So fill the glass with ice and serve for 20 seconds. And garnish your unusual Negroni with either a twist, wedge, or slice of grapefruit. They have the unusual Negroni. So there you have three very unique Negroni variations for Negroni Week. You've got the chocolate Negroni, the Count Mast, which is Jägermeister, and then the unusual Negroni with Aperol. So first up, I'll try the uh, chocolate Negroni. Cheers. That is really good. You get those the undertone of the chocolate coming through. Uh, it's it's dry from the cacao, but it's well balanced. You still get some sweetness and some bitterness coming through. Make sure you check out that video on how to make your own creme de cacao because I've got some other uh, cocktail recipes that I'll be utilizing this with. That's banging. It's really good. And then next up, the Count Mast. I really like the um, the lemon twist. It really complements the Jägermeister. Those on the nose, those notes uh, go really well. Herbaceousness with the, the citrus. I think for a Negroni variation, it, lack, it does lack that bitterness, um, which is really what you kind of expect from a Negroni. It is good, but if you're a Negroni lover and you're expecting that bitterness and that, that kind of profile from a drink, it's a good drink, don't get me wrong, just different to what you expect and less Negroni-like than possibly this. It's got that, that bitterness to it. And then the more approachable, unusual Negroni. Cheers. Very bright, grapefruit notes to it. And that like, that sweet, as I said, the honeyed citrus that you get from the Lille Blanc. I was having quite a few of these a few weeks back and these are good, just a lot lighter, but you still get that bitterness that you expect from a Negroni. So let me know in the comments below what you think you would prefer out of these three different variations. Personally, the chocolate Negroni, that's my cup of tea, that's my jam, and I'm definitely gonna make use of this creme de cacao. Thanks for watching, make sure you like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell button. Cheers.